Hello, my name is Ethan. Today in this video, I'm going to show you about this little open source app I made called Caption Window. This app is for real-time captions for OBS. Uh, this app just requires .NET 4.5. I have the link to this below. Once you've downloaded this zip file, all you got to do is extract it. You'll have these two files. You'll have config.ini, which has all your configuration, and you'll have the Caption Window application. So by default here, you'll see the font is Arial with size 15. These background and foreground colors are hex. See, I open up caption window and it'll automatically start generating captions for whatever I'm saying. Now you might notice that these are wrong and a bit inaccurate. Um, that is completely regular for Windows. What you have to do is, is you want to go to uh, train your computer to better understand you. So you'll want to do this. You can repeat this over and over again, and it'll improve each time. So if you really want quality, you'll want to probably do that over and over again. Even just doing it one time, though, will give you giant improvements, especially if you have an accent or something. All right, so this is just a window. You can easily capture it in a window capture here in OBS. Um, you can filter out the background with a chroma key or whatever, or you can just leave it black if you, if you like it that way. So just to give you an example, if you wanted to set the background to a regular green screen, you could set the background color here to, to completely green. And you'll see now the background of it is completely green. Uh, you can change the font pretty much to whatever system fonts are supported. And you can change the width and height of the window. The queue size is the number of text or recognition results that it saves and displays in the window. So if you make the window bigger, you'll probably want to make the queue size bigger. Also, uh, if you're interested in how this was programmed, I also released the source code. I was looking for a captioning app for OBS or to do for live streams and I couldn't find anything. So I just made this little simple lightweight program. I hope it I hope it helps somebody. Thanks for watching.